School bells ringing out all over Broward County today. Public schools are back in session. And of course, all eyes were on Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, six months and one day after the massacre there. Hi, Mickey. Carlos Rodriguez greeted the first day of school at Stoneman Douglas with both excitement and dread. Oh, there's a helicopter. That's a trigger for some of my friends. There's a code red going on. It reminds them of the February rampage when Rodriguez and so many of his friends and classmates had to hide for hours. I, I, I just don't want to be there anymore. In the back of my mind, there's still the thought of a shooter coming into campus. But Broward school officials say the school and others across the county are safer than ever. At Douglas, 3,200 students were greeted by single point entry, controlled access card readers, 2,500 new surveillance cameras, upgrades to 10,000 more, and double the security at MSD. It's six months um, away from the, the tragedy, which feels like it, it happened just yesterday. Touting changes he's overseen, Superintendent Robert Runcie says his focus district-wide is on school safety. Armed security staff at each and every one of our schools. But just Tuesday, the district admitted it was still scrambling to find enough trained staff as required by law. Fort Lauderdale police will help pick up the slack while armed guardians finish their training. Stephen Furman is part of a vocal group who think the school board and the superintendent need to be ousted. Hell no. He's definitely not doing his job. Meantime, Carlos Rodriguez made it through day one. I tried to keep a smile as much as I could, and I think that's what I'm going to have to do for the rest of the year.